Okay, tough loss on Saturday. You know, the, the boys really hurt after this one, so the coaches. But um, this week, we just had to get back to work. You know, I'm confident that they'll come back and bounce back this week. We talked this morning, and they guarantee me that they, they're still ready to go. They're ready to get after it and, and be the best team on Saturday. This time of year, you, you, you know, we're dealing with a lot of injuries. So we have the next, next man up mentality like we talk about every week. You know, in, and in this conference, you know, you've seen it last week with Illinois, you got to play 60 minutes of solid football. And we show lapses of doing it. But to win games, you got to play a full 60 minutes. That's what we got to get the guys to do, play the full 60 minutes. <clears throat> Questions? What's uh, Casey's Thompson's status for Saturday? Mark Mark injury. Right now, you know, it was a it was a look, look nerve in his elbow. So right now he's day to day. We, you know, I just wanted to hold him out today and let him see the doctors. You seen the doctors yesterday? Let him see him again today and see where he's at tomorrow. You mentioned on the TV show that you did not expect him. No, because he was really beat up, you know, on um, on Saturday. But when I spoke with him on Sunday, he felt better and he he looked better yesterday. I mean. Casey, he took some hits this, this year, so, you know, I want to make sure I'm careful. And, I, and I'd rather say he's out than say he's in and then he don't play, you know. When you look back at uh, Chubb's performance, uh, what, what did he struggle with and what, what's the key, you know, to, to working with him this week, getting him more of what he wanted? I, I spoke to Chubb. Chubb just has to settle down. He has to breathe at that position. He can't, he can't let his emotions take over. He's got to be a true leader out there. And I thought he was trying to make plays. But he got, he's got to understand the situation that we was in at that time when he threw the pick, that we already, have, we already have three points. So let's make the score 20 to 12. You throw a pick and they go up and they kick a field goal, and now they're up 20, 23 to 9. So he's got to understand situations. And I thought he had a really good day today just talking to him. Chubb was a kid that we got to talk to every play. Sometimes you don't want to do that with quarterbacks, but it's a little different with Chubba. Chubba's got to talk, and he's young. Chubba's young. He's a young quarterback, not a whole bunch of reps. So we got to make sure this week that we do a really good job with him, reminding what situation he's in. And if it's not there, throw it away. If it's not there, run. Don't slide. Yeah. Do you, do you uh, even the reps out with him? And obviously, Casey could be in it, but with Smothers and Chubba? Or they both took team even team? number of reps with the ones today. You're right, I went back and forth. They took even number of reps with the ones today. They both did. Did you feel like going in last week that Chubba got enough reps in practice? You alluded to it after. Your backup never gets a whole bunch of reps. It's, it's, it's impossible to do that because you're only out there for two hours and you got to get your one, your, your one guy ready. So he didn't, he didn't get the reps as a one, but he got reps as a two. But for him to perform, I think he needs zip. I think he needs reps as a one. So you're right. He needs more reps, and we're gonna get him more reps this week. How about, what makes you say that? Like he needs to keep his emotions in check. What do you see on the film that makes you say that? He, he plays nervous sometimes, and I just want him to breathe and, and calm down because he plays better. If you go back to his high school film, he's playing with a lot of confidence. You can go back and watch that. You can see him playing with poise. He's got to have more poise behind the center when he goes in the game. He, he wants to make a play so bad that, you know, he makes a bad play. And he's not trying. He just makes a bad play. So we got to calm him down. We got to do a better job as coaches to get him ready. And it starts with me. Just like I said, talk to him every play. Say something to him every play. Hey, you're doing this. Hey, that's a great job. Okay, you're doing this. That's a great job. You know, just remind him of situations that he's in. Because remember now, he hasn't played a lot of college football. How do their different skill sets, Chubba versus Logan? Um, impact the way that you have to game plan as you get closer to, to Saturday? Well, you know, Logan Logan's more of an option guy. And Trevor's more of a drop back guy that can run. So you have an option guy and a drop back guy. So that's the difference in the skills, just probably the feet. Logan probably can flip it a little better than Chubba. And Chubba probably can throw it overhand a little better than Logan. Was it twice as much work for the offensive staff to, to get things ready for? No, 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 because that, that, that old system stayed with us. We kept that old system in. So, no, it's not extra work for them. But if it is, it's, you know, that's, that's their job. Can you envision a scenario where they both play almost equal reps in a game? That can happen. That can happen. I don't know. I mean, but that can happen. 
how, how have you seen Jabba respond to those things you pointed out? Has he been really receptive to? No, he was better today. I spoke to him this morning, talked about calming down and playing with some poise, and he was better today at practice. That, I mean, I played that position, and that's, that's not an easy position just to step in as a backup, you know. So that's why we always talk about what to our backups, what, what I said before. They always got to prepare like what? That they're a the starter. And that's, that's the problem. He's got to prepare like he was a starter as a backup. But sometimes the backup's got to play with limited reps. How is their leadership qualities, both of those, Chuba and Logan? Because obviously people point to those guys, especially Chuba because he's a younger guy. Yeah, they, they, they have to lead. They have to lead. And, and, you know, we still have good leadership on the team with Travis over there and Casey's still over there. But they have to lead and they have to take charge when they're on the field. And I think the kids believe in them. Trey, his takeaway um, in the Big Ten going through it this year as a coach, like what, what, what do you notice about the teams you go up against? You kind of hit on this on your show a little mm -hmm. bit. But what do you, you, you see every week? Around the they, they're 23 and 24 years old. I came from the SEC. So when you look at that SEC depth chart, if you've seen a whole bunch of juniors, that means it's a pretty good football team. But when here, when you see a whole bunch of juniors and seniors, that means they've been in a program for a long time. They're a pretty good team. And, you know, like you got six, you got five, six-year seniors this, this week starting from Minnesota. It's another six-year quarterback that we're going against. That's, that's unheard of. You know, that's not happening on that, in that other conference. So it's just an older league, but this league execute. And they don't make many mistakes. They well, it's a well-coached league. Did you get a chance to talk with Trey? I mean, one catch for one yard. He was obviously getting guarded pretty tight by good DBs. But, I mean, how did he sort of feel like he played? Okay, repeat that question again, because remember, you got me last time. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll make I'm you really sorry. No, you're good. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just joking with you. That was my fault. But you need to come to the class that I have to go to so you can learn the rules also. <laughs> Now, go ahead, it. repeat your question. I'm sorry. I'm just joking with you, man. I got you. Um, Trey had one catch, one mm -hmm. yard. Obviously, he was getting guarded by Witherspoon and good DBs, but how yeah. did he sort of feel like he played? Well, I thought some of the plays he was open, some of the plays he was covered. Trey's got to do a better job of running through the noise. I, I spoke with him during the game. They're going to grab you. They're grabbing him. They're going to do that. They're not going to just let Trey run. Trey's got to understand that. So when they grab you, you got to shut him and get him off you. You got to play physical every snap. And this this is the first people to get in, get in his face since he's probably been at LSU, you know, so he had to learn. He, he knows he knows better. Get open. So he started pushing through. He was getting open a couple of times later on in the game. You saw a good running back last week. Uh, you'll see another one this week. What, what, do you, what do you like or what have you seen in Mo Ibrahim, the Minnesota running back? He's a, he's a monster, man. He, he, he's, he's, he runs low to the ground. He gets his pads down, and he finishes runs. And that's, that's you know, that's, we saw that last week. Now we're going to see it again this week. And that's one thing about this league. This league has some backs. He's a tough kid, and we're gonna have to, we got we got a game tackle him. We a one on one tackle. Something he probably run through that. He's got big tree trunks. You see how he's built? He's a big. He's a good looking dude. And what does it say about Ernest Houseman that earlier this season he was kind of benched mm -hmm. um, yeah, after the first couple of games, and then he fought his way back up to the depth chart and he played the way that he played on Saturday. Yes, I mean, we're proud of Ernest. You know, we, we had Nick and, and, and Luke out there, and Ernest wasn't coming along like we wanted him to, but he kept getting better every day in practice. He kept getting mental reps, and when he got in, he, he you know, took advantage of his reps. So we, we, we're happy where Ernest is at right now. And he, he's, he's, you can see he's, he's talking with more confidence right now. He's talking more on the field. He's communicating better. So we, we enjoy what we're seeing Ernest at right now. On to get back onto the field after he fell down the depth chart. He had to. He had to understand that it's Saturday afternoon and not Friday nights, and and, and that's a, that's a lot of freshmen. They got to understand that it's not Friday night. You're not the best person on the field. So now you got to you got to rely on your technique. And I think Barrett does a really good job with those guys as far as their technique. And he had to learn how to do it. He's probably never used those techniques in high school because he was the best player. I have a nuts and bolts item, but Jalen Weaver working with the O line now. Yes. What about that he came to me. He came to me. So he called me at, um, on a Saturday afternoon on off week and said, I want to meet with you. So I, I was happy that he said he wanted to get over there and help us. I think he's going to be a really good old lineman once Donnie gets him and trains him a little bit. Tackle or guard? Tackle. A couple more? Okay. Are any of the old line? I mean, Bando's been out. Williams, are, are they – could they be in the equation this week, or what's their situation? Vandal's closer than Kevin. Hey, Vicky, so what you said about the Big Ten, knowing what you know about this league and the experience that you, that you see from team to team, what, what do you think, what, what, what is your vision of what the, the 
perfect offense, what the ideal offense looks like. You know, irrespective of the guys that you have right now and the, and the limitations you might have, what, what, is an, what is the offense you think that ideally works in Nebraska's spot? Well, if you look around and you look on this side, you, you got to be able to run the ball. You got to be able to move people off the point. You, you got to be able to have a, a strong run game, running game, and eat the clock up and shorten the game. That's what I, I see. You know, I mean, you're going to adjust to this league, you know, and that's, that's what I'm learning that you, this league, they're going to run the football, they're going to eat clock, and they're going to try to keep your offense on the sideline. And that's, that's the vision. That's, that's what you got to get to. Time to be able to do that in the last four games. I mean, I know this isn't a team you put together, but you are the, the head coach. Mm -hmm. But is there a way to adjust some of that based on the teams you're about to play? Yeah, we, you know, every week we go in and we, you know we try to get the run game started. You know, run game started, but you know we, we, we like to throw the ball. But I think this week that we're going to try to rely on the run and throw it when we have to. Uh, is there a reason why Ramir Johnson has been a one play back the last two games? Is there something that's keeping him back, either injury wise? Or Wise, no, that you don't play more often. No, I think you know, Coach Applewhite was comfortable with um, with AG and, and Yan out there. It's nothing against Ramir. No, Ramir, no, Ramirez practicing good. He's got, he's upbeat. He played really well on special teams. Coach, after watching film, do you entertain the idea of going to a different quarterback other than Logan or Chubba, or was it, you know, like with Heinrich Harbor or Asker, or has it always just been? No, <laughs> okay. no, no, no. <laughs> they cannot. They way down there. I can't. Not those kids. They young. I gotta. I gotta go with Chubb and Logan because they're the guys that have the experience. You know, those kids are gonna be really good quarterbacks, but not. Not right now. Not right now. Hey Nick, you mentioned Tanner Morgan before briefly, a six-year quarterback. Is he similar to the Illinois guy, the little kid, uh, the game manager, makes the throws when yeah. he has to? You know, I, I think what he 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 gets the ball out quick, but he manages the offense. He gets them in the right run plays. You know, he's, a, he's been in the system with six years, right? I mean, he's a, he's a really good quarterback, and that's what you're facing. You're facing another guy that's going to manage the offense and get him in the right plays and not make mistakes with the football. Is it a benefit facing a team that they kind of are similar to Minnesota and Illinois? Is there a benefit to that? Same yeah, same. I think it's a benefit. You know, it's, and it's, an, it's just, you know, it's going to be another physical game, but I think, you, I think the defense benefits from that. Thank you.